Joining us now are members of Texas A&M Kingsville, Havelinas, head coach Johnny Estelle in the middle. Also joining Coach Estelle, Sammy Brooks, senior guard from Dallas, Texas, and also Will Scher, who is a senior from Corpus Christi. Coach Estelle, tonight, uh, hard-fought game against West Texas A&M. Your team goes down in defeat, 78-56. Let you have an opening statement talking about this game. No, I'm proud of my guys. I thought that they battled. Um, you know, it's, it's it's always tough playing the home team in, in a national tournament. Uh, you know, but hey, it's, it is what it is. You know, um, um, wasn't our night. Um, wasn't because our kids didn't play hard. Wasn't because they uh, didn't play with any heart. Uh, just because you know, it just wasn't our night. We didn't shoot the ball particularly well. Um, you know, give West Texas credit. They they did shoot the ball well. Anytime you make 15 three pointers, you're probably gonna win. So at the end of the day, um, this doesn't define us. Uh, we had a really good season, um, and, and I wouldn't trade none, nobody in that room, that locker room, because those guys are the kind of kids you want to be around every day and coach. Yeah. Coach, you talk about your season and, you know, 21 wins, first time uh, for the program to make the tournament back-to-back -back seasons. Uh, this team showed a lot of fight. I mean, throughout the season, we saw you last week in, in Frisco at the, at the uh, tournament. Yes, sir. Talk about your team. Uh, you know, you had a great start tonight, kind of got the buffs down a little bit, but uh, you never you never quit throughout this uh, matchup. Well, I mean, you know, I think you, you have to get to this moment and, uh, ex oh, you know, unfortunately experience things like this to get for the big things to happen later down the road. They have a seasoned team. They have a team that's been, you know, at this level for you know a long period of time, and um, and that's to their credit. You know, I thought they did really good uh, playing there. They've been there before, and then when you're playing at home, <laughs> that's an added deal. Uh, you know, I, I you know I don't mean to be you know sour. I, I wish the NCA would look at um, changing the model and the way they're doing things. Really, honestly, I think that you know at this level uh, should be as equal as like Division One and go to neutral sites. Um, not taking away from this game, they beat us, but. I just think it, it, it's really, I don't know, it just takes something away from it, you know, I, especially the conference that we come from. Um, we do a really good job uh, with the postseason tournament. Um, it's at a neutral site. It's in a nice venue in a nice area that does a good job. And it's just, you know, it's, it's a fair deal across the board. Not taking nothing away from West Texas. They beat us. Congratulations, Coach Brown. But at the end of the day, uh, we played in front of a home team today and uh, did not perform well. So that's that's not because that's on us. We got to do better. Sammy, I'll start with you. Uh, Sammy Brooks for uh, the Javelinas. Ten rebounds. Uh, you, you were having to battle inside. Your, your team was throughout the game. WT got hot. They made 15 three-pointers. As, as you saw it from your perspective, uh, what, what went well, what did not go well tonight in, in the loss? Um, I just feel like um, in the first half, especially about like the first six or seven minutes of the game, uh, you know, we were executing our uh, defensive game plan uh, very well. They weren't, um, I mean, you know, like they were giving open looks, but they weren't hitting them. And I just feel like they had a lot to do with our defense. And then um, I just feel like we stopped um, executing our uh, defensive game plan, you know, which allowed them, I mean, you know, which opened up more things for them. And, uh, you know, they seen one go in and, you know, just one after another. So I feel like, you know, we let down um, a little bit on the defensive end, you know, which let them off the hook. And um, like Coach said, they're the home team and, you know, this is where they practice at. So, you know, like I said, once they see one go in, then, you know, it's just, you know, that's the type of team that's just, it's just a domino effect with that type of team. So I just feel like that's where we're good and bad at. Will, uh, Will Shayer for uh, the Javelinas, 10 points, seven rebounds uh, in the loss tonight. I thought you battled uh, really well for your team, both offensively and defensively. You've been with this program for a while, Will. You've been around Coach Estelle. Talk about your experience, and uh, you've won a lot of games in your career at Texas A&M Kingsville. Yes, sir. Yeah, coming in, uh, we weren't, it wasn't as good of a program. We were kind of kind of coming off a tough year. So I think not just me, but the seniors, Sammy, Creighton, Jake, people that have been here for a long time have kind of turned the program around and now getting to the to the national tournament is kind of ex expectation now. Then it's just going to keep moving up the program, keep moving forward, I, I believe. Coach, Will mentioned that Will, Sammy, Creighton, such a special group of seniors. How meaningful have their contributions been as a team? Really been on a New York rise in the tournament. Well, I, 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 it's been immense. They came when it wasn't a reason to come, you know, and, and and they built something, you know, collectively. We've had a lot of good players. There's a lot of good players in that locker room, but you know, in the world that we live in today, where there's no commitment and everybody's looking to leave and go somewhere else, nicer and shinier and this and that, it's always good to tell the story of the kids that are playing for the right reasons. 
uh, both of these guys are uh, graduates. They have their master's degrees, already have jobs, you know, mechanical engineering, uh, you know, Creighton getting his master's degree. You know, and I say this all the time. I'm not saying it's sour grapes. That, I think this is what athletics was meant for in the NCAA, what it meant for NIL deals and transfer central, you know. So for me, you know, I love the kids we have. I love why they play. They play for each other. Uh, they play for our school. Uh, they have a lot of pride inside themselves. And, you know, for me, I, I have to have young men like that. And they come from great families, man, unbelievable families. Um, and that's what you got to have, I think, to, to be successful, to be a success story later in life. Because with us, it's, it's, it's about what you're going to look like in 10 years. You know, and, and these two gentlemen here and those guys in that locker room, they're going to be highly successful people later in life. You can best believe that. Sandy, a bit of a similar question. You, Will, and Jake are now the only three players in Havlin history to make it to three NCAA postseason tournaments. How meaningful has it been playing for Coach Estelle and, and representing the Havlin since the last few years? I mean, um, it's been uh, just very meaningful. I mean, you know, just the um, opportunity, you know, they gave me um, coming out of junior college, you know, when they didn't, you know, have to. I mean, I'm just forever grateful for, you know, Coach Estelle, you know, Coach Omar and also uh, Mr. Steve Roach, you know, just for, you know, giving me the opportunity, you know, year in and year out because my first two years, you know, I um, had uh, two uh, season um, um, in the injuries, and, you know, they just kept, you know, believing me. I mean, they just kept, you know, just believing in me. You know, I'm just, you know, forever grateful, you know, just to wear these colors. You know, I always, you know, wear them with pride. And, you know, I'm just, like I said, I just can't, you know, just, just thank them enough, you know, for this opportunity. You know, it's been a, you know, a great, uh, it's been a great ride. I mean, you know, Coach Estelle is, you know, the best coach, you know, to have, you know, been coached by, not been coached by a lot of good coaches, but Coach Estelle, you know, he doesn't only do it on the court, he does it off the court. You know, he pulls out, you know, the best in you, you know, being a, you know, a good young man, you know, a good teammate, a good brother, a good son. So, I mean, you know, I just can't, you know, like I said, you know, just thank them enough, you know, for this opportunity, you know, that they gave me here at this university, you know, just to further my education, but also just help me become, you know, a better young man. You know, with this program, it goes, you know, further than basketball. And, you know, I just have a lifelong relationship, you know, with all those uh, gentlemen, Coach Estelle, Coach Omar, Mr. Roach, and uh, Coach Thomas. Guys, again, congratulations on a great year. 21 wins and uh, for Texas A&M Kingsville, Coach Estelle, Sammy, Will, thank you guys very much. Yes, thank you so much.